What's going on guys? Bailey Curry here. We're here at JD Motorsports. We're uh, gonna try to do a, something new, uh, a little YouTube series. Uh, it's gonna be me working in the shop, building some stuff, showing y'all what we do week to week. And uh, I figure we'll start off with a nice little project. We'll be building a gear cooler today. Um, it's gonna look something like this. This is for a road course car, so it's got two. But I'm building just a single one for a short track car. Um, I already got started a little bit, and uh, we'll go ahead and get to making this thing. All right, so basically what we're gonna do first, uh, we're gonna get all our parts made. I already have the left side here made. I already had our fabricator go ahead and uh, fab up a mount for me so we can actually mount this thing in the gear cooler. I have my template here, trusty, rusty template. I've used this thing a few times, but uh, we'll go ahead and get started making these parts. We'll make the other side, the bottom, and then the back panel, and then we'll go ahead and start firing this thing together. Just go here. I made this template, didn't really think about it. I kind of made it just in the car. Didn't think about it too much, kind of mocked it up there, put a couple straight edges up there, made it, but I don't have any of the tabs on it. That's what all these marks are here. That's why that's a half inch lower there. will be a half inch tab, half inch tab, half inch tab, three quarter inch tab. And this side will actually mount to the race car So I come here pretty much every day. Uh, if I'm not going to, like yesterday, I didn't get to come, so I was at the Chevrolet simulator. But for the most part, I'm here. I'm uh, working in the shop along with the guys, which honestly I enjoy. I've worked on my own race cars since I was nine, 10 years old. So dad always told me if I wanted to drive them, I got to work on them. There is some guys uh, out there that kind of do the same thing I do, but they're kind of few and far between. I'm gonna try, I will start with this one so it leaves me all this material so I can still use it um, to make the back and the bottom. these corners out this uh little tool right here this corner cutter makes things so much more convenient instead of me having to use hand shears or something like that it uh just kind of does the work for you makes it easy now since this is the right side i usually run my exhaust out of the cool box on the right side to try to keep a little air on the tire we're gonna get that hole made now so I can do it in the Rotex punch before I bend anything. And it makes it a lot easier. So there's our hole. This is another tool that you don't realize how convenient it is to have one until you have one. Uh, you can make anything you need to make, you can make it with this deal. Like, I mean, obviously this isn't the right size die. It's a two inch die and it's not gonna get me all the way but being that it is round, I can just kind of nibble my way around here. Pull it out. Now you can see how it's not quite smooth around there. I'll uh, grab a file, file that down, get that right down to that blue mark. These grandpa ones are really small, but they actually do all right on the rounded edge. Might have to pull out the big guns. Now that fits on there nice, uh, we'll go back here to the finger brake because a lot of these angles obviously go different directions. Uh, get this thing bent, then we'll come back and make our back piece. Eventually, it's gonna be a box. It goes here, you'll have the bottom, the back, and then this guy will slide in right there. We have to keep some of our fab tools in the back just because we're out of room. Granted, here's a lot of stuff. We'll mostly our way through the wreck parts. Find this guy. I made that other one earlier, so I kind of have all these exactly how I want them. Uh, so I know what bends what. Let's give that a quick one of those. So now, you see, this mounts to the car. This will hold the back, and then we'll get this piece bent right here. Give it one of those. Bam, now we got a right side panel. Let's see, fits right in there, right on that corner. 
blow air out, out that way. I'm gonna make this the bottom. And we'll cut here, cut here, and then we'll break it here. So we'll cut our corners here, and then with this, since I don't have bends going every which way, I can just use this shear in here, or break in here, sorry. Uh, since this is the bottom, we'll go 50, or 90 degree bend down here. I'll probably go a little bit more than that on the top, just so I don't hit the oil cooler. solid back piece and now we need the bottom and it should lay right in here like so sometimes you find a random sheet of aluminum back there and it's like off by that much and then whenever, whenever you measure off that edge then you're just thrown way off. Go ahead and double check this measurement. I usually have to cut off just a touch on these guys here, just to get it to go all the way up in there. So that's basically it there. Yeah, so pretty much they're, they go in, come back out, they go in narrow, come back and widen up. It's like a pop rivet, but uh, temporary. My pop rivet's in there for this duct. It'll hold this screen in there as well. Because the car already has the, uh, it has nuts welded in it, so I can just put holes in this bolt it in the car. So basically how these things go on there, the reason this is a long flat bottom like this, is to try to run parallel with the floor of the race car. And then when you set it up in there. So what I'm gonna do, I will get a jack and I'll get like a Usually like a long piece of wood is usually what I use. We're gonna pull this out, we'll rivet this thing together, all of it, the duct, all the panels together, and then I'll sand it and paint it. While I'm yeah, I mean that's the that's really the next step. You gotta clean your surface before you paint it for sure. That's one of the more important things. It's actually some really good stuff. And Sam actually helps us out here at Johnny Davis. So and, uh, it's a good partnership. They help us out, they give us products like Sim Solve, and even the paint we're about to use is gonna be Sim as well. get the rest of our stuff handled, come back, get that, get our cooler mounted in there, and then we'll go put it in the car and call it a day. I don't trust you to walk. You'll pee on the floor. Take off. Good work. Hey. <laughs> There's been some times where I will chase him out here for 10 minutes and I can't get him. Because especially when we get in the cars, like he'll like, he's gotten smart now too where he knows if he starts running around, I'll run around the other way, but then he turns around 
and he changes it up on me now. So he anticipates it. Oh yeah. See, a few fish eyes in it. Get the gear cooler. Might just cleat throw this in place. Make it a little bit easier on me. So he's, yeah, pop rivet. So pop rivet is just a fastener pretty much. It goes in there. It'll take and it'll pull this shank. And then what it does is it'll pull this ball back. It makes all that expand until the point where the shank kind of has a weak spot in it. The weak spot breaks, which leaves you with just the head and mm -hmm. the backside pulling it tight. So I mean, you pretty much just layer in there. I use washers on pretty much all of mine, just because I think it just gives it a better, just keeps it tighter. So I'll lay silicone like that on here and underneath here once I get it actually mounted in the car. So like even when I put this one in, I'll silicone that edge to the floor of the car because it'll ride like that. And just so all the air that comes in, it doesn't escape through here before it gets to like, so this is a road course cooler. This is a rear end cooler here and then the transmission cooler. So you use both. So you want the air to go through both of them to make sure it cools all the fluid at the best you can. Now Wayne, you might be able to do it from the front because I know there's a big gap that I was gonna have to silicone up there. Heck, you know what? But other than that, I mean, that's a, that's a gear cooler. In a nutshell, I'll silicone this edge up here too just to try to keep that as flat as possible. Ah, uh, messed up. It's funny how much this stuff gets used in racing. I mean, this stuff gets used for a lot of different things, honestly. Oh! Now the tricky part about this is pulling the tape off without messing it up. That's it. I mean, that's that's the gear cooler. Uh, probably, I feel like one of the better ones I've ever made. I appreciate y'all watching. If y'all made it this far in the video, and uh, if y'all like the content, y'all just let me know. And uh, I guess YouTubers say like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And uh, we'll see y'all next time.